California snacking on such a winter's day. Hey, and welcome to Snack Boy. Today's snack goes back <laughs> almost five years to the first show I did back in Woodbridge, Virginia, at the Lazy Susan Dinner Theater. Now, the Lazy Susan is not to be considered, is not to be confused with the Lazy Susan that my grandmother bought my mother a couple episodes back for a revenge present. This Lazy Susan Dinner Theater was called the Lazy Susan because part of the stage actually revolved, and actually I did an earlier snack on the Lazy Susan Dinner Theater. Remember when I was talking about that show Shenandoah, also known as Shenandoah or Shannon Doherty? Well, today we're going to talk about that same show and a little something that happened, and it goes something like this. Four and three and two and... All right, anyway, seriously, though, I was waiting tables at intermission time. I was in the worst mood. I was livid! I, snack boy, I, Terrence Nelson Crumpet, <laughs> I was livid. I had the bluebirds filled in my section. And in the middle of the show, you got to strip off your costume. you got to run out while you're still hot into that ugly auditorium. And you got to slap out the drinks to those little bluebirds or boy scouts or girl scouts or old people or nursing homes or strippers or... Well, not strippers, really. That would have been okay. But, um... I was, I was just having the time of my life. And these girls, the bluebirds, were running me ragged. And I was so, it was so hot in that theater. It was boiling. It was like Dante's Inferno. And we were so hot. And, and, and I was getting these bluebirds their drinks. And I look over. And there across the theater, against the wall with a the thermostat, is some guy. And I guess he, he looked like one of the, the bluebird leaders. He had like longer feathered blonde hair and a mustache. Like a Starsky and Hutch wannabe ripoff con. <laughs> and he was playing with the thermostat of the theater. Well, I was not going to let some customer waste that good theater's money. I was in the mood to, to throw some shade, to throw some angst out, and babies, I did it. I walked over to him, and I put my hands on my, my hips, and I, I got my cocky look, and I raised my eyebrow, and I waited for him to feel my presence. And finally, as he was playing with the air, he turned around and he saw me. And I said, as sarcastically as I could whip out from the base of my very soul, from through the bones, up the spine, I said, can we help you with something there, sir? And he goes, no, it's, it's a little hot in here. And I said, well, common courtesy dictates that one should usually ask permission from another before one goes messing with the air conditioning of, of a place that's not someone's own residence, sir. Uh, if, if you would like the air tampered with, perhaps we could get a manager to help you out, okay? <laughs> all right, sir. And he just looked at me like I was crazy. And I went backstage and I forgot all about it. I felt better. I felt cathartic, like I'd gotten out some of that anger, some of that hate, some of that rage. Well, anyway, before you know it, I feel a tap at my shoulder at the dressing room table. And it's the production manager. And he says, Terrence, crumb it. And in front of the whole cast of Shenandoah, he says, Terrence Crummett, you just corrected the guy at the, at the thermostat. And I said, yes. And I thought he was going to compliment me. He said, that's Mr. Chamberlain. He owns the Lazy Susan Dinner Theater. He is Mr. Lazy Susan. And I went, oh, God, no. What have I done? I pictured my understudy going on that night and every night thereafter. But they didn't fire me, no. And thank God, but here's the problem. The next day, before the show, I met the most beautiful young lady I'd seen in a long time. Her name was Courtney, and Courtney and I hit it off like that, and things were going so great, and she even asked me out, but the problem is she said um, that her parents are very strict, very strict, and before I could take her out, they wanted to meet me for a little dinner. So that night, we planned on going to the movies, and this is back, you know, back about five years ago, and before the movie, we were going to dinner at Courtney's house, and there, at opening the door of Courtney's house was... Mr. Chamberlain, the owner, the owner of the Lazy Susan Dinner Theater, the man who I corrected his very own thermostat at people. And there at the dinner table, I was so nervous, and my heart was a-pumping, a-pumping. And before you know it, he said, did one thing. He didn't say a word to Snack Boy, but he got up. And he walked to the thermostat. And the last thing he did before we left for, for, for the movie was to turn his thermostat down. And as he did it, he shot me the most evil look ever. Evil revenge, people evil. Cut.